Hey, I'm Nofal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding tetralogy of phthalate. So what is meant by tetralogy of phthalate? Tetralogy of phthalate is a congenital heart disease. That means by birth this defect is occurring. Mainly four conditions are coming under tetralogy of phthalate. We can see one by one. So under the tetralogy of phthalate, mainly ventricular septal defect, right ventricular hypertrophy, pulmonary stenosis, overriding iota. Four conditions are coming under tetralogy of phthalate. First one is ventricular septal defect. In the name itself, ventricular septal defect the problem is with a ventricle a defect is there where it is in the septum so what is ventricular septal defect in the heart we can see right atrium is there left atrium is there right ventricle is there left ventricle is there between the right ventricle and left ventricle a septum is there that means a partition or a wall is there that is separating there is no connection between right ventricle and left ventricle in a normal person there is no connection between right ventricle and left ventricle because a septum is there a wall or a partition is there between right ventricle and left ventricle but in the ventricular septal defect there will be a abnormal connection or a abnormal opening between right ventricle and left ventricle there will be a abnormal connection or abnormal opening between right ventricle and left ventricle so what will happen we know in the right side of the heart it is deoxygenated blood oxygen is not there in the right side of the heart and in the left side it is oxygenated blood oxygen is there in the left side of the heart right in the left side oxygenated blood and in the right side deoxygenated blood so here there is a abnormal opening between right ventricle and left ventricle okay there is a abnormal opening between right ventricle and left ventricle so the deoxygenated blood and the oxygenated blood will mix that is ventricular septal defect problem is in the ventricle okay between the septum a opening is coming and that is the defect ventricular septal defect oh, the defect is there in the ventricle of the heart there is a abnormal connection next one is right ventricular hypertrophy so here in the right ventricle the problem is coming hypertrophy means increase in the size so the right ventricle will be enlarged the right ventricle will be enlarged that is the second condition okay right ventricular hypertrophy right ventricle will be enlarged next one is pulmonary stenosis so stenosis stenosis means narrowing narrow or small or stenosis is narrowing pulmonary stenosis means pulmonary valve is there after the right ventricle the connection of the connection of the pulmonary artery a valve is there after the right ventricle a valve is there to the connection of the pulmonary artery between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery a valve is there so here in the pulmonary stenosis the pulmonary valve will be narrowed okay narrowing of the pulmonary valve area or narrowing of the pulmonary valve that area will be narrowed not broad it is narrowing stenosis means narrowing okay small or narrow the pulmonary valve area will be the pulmonary valve area will be narrow okay that is pulmonary stenosis next one is overriding iota okay so in overriding iota the iota is in a wrong position the position of the iota in the heart is in the wrong position okay here in the tetralogy of phthalate what will happen the iota will be over the ventricular septal defect the iota will be situated over the ventricular septal defect actually the iota should be positioned over the left ventricle instead of that the position of iota will be over the ventricular septal defect you have to keep it in mind at least the position of the iota will be in the wrong place that is overriding iota so in the name you can see overriding iota so you have to keep it in mind due to this the iota should 
work more over working iota so four conditions are coming under tetralogy of valid ventricular septal defect the septum of the ventricle a problem is there abnormal connection is there so that is ventricular septal defect next one is right ventricular hypertrophy enlargement of the right ventricle pulmonary stenosis the narrowing of the pulmonary valve area and overriding iota that is the abnormal position of the iota iota will be in the wrong position these are the four condition that is coming under tetralogy of phthalate now the most important thing for your exam repeatedly the question is asking regarding clinical manifestation of tetralogy of phthalate clinical feature or the clinical manifestation of tetralogy of phthalate so the clinical feature of tetralogy of phthalate is blue spells tet spells or cyanotic spells or hyper cyanotic spells blue spells tet spells cyanotic or hyper cyanotic spells okay blue spells tet spells hyper cyanotic spells sometimes the question will be blue spells is present identify the disease condition it is tetralogy of phthalate so what is blue spell or tet spell or hyper cyanotic spell that is the acute episode of hypoxia and cyanosis acute episode of hypoxia and cyanosis so hypoxia means decreased blood in the tissue and cyanosis means bluish discoloration of the skin decrease oxygen in the tissue and bluish discoloration in the skin that is acute episode of hypoxia and cyanosis that is blue spells or tet spells or hyper cyanotic spells another important very very important thing is intervention okay another important thing coming under tetralogy of phthalate is intervention so that is provide knee chest position that is the intervention of tetralogy of phthalate is provide knee chest position okay provide knee chest position so if you are giving knee chest position it will increase the venous return the blood flow will increase return flow of the blood will increase okay that is knee chest position you have to you have to give for blue spells for the tetralogy of phthalate if you are seeing blue spells the immediate intervention will be so many option will be there for your exam provide oxygen or provide fowler's position or provide medication but the first and foremost priority always keep it in mind the immediate intervention the first priority is provide knee chest position afterwards only you can give oxygen and all first priority is knee chest position now regarding the management we have to manage the condition with surgical management only surgical management is the primary option for tetralogy of phthalate that's all regarding tetralogy of phthalate we will meet soon with another video till that time thank you and goodbye